Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is me here again, Chi Ifebi from Oka, and I'm resting in Nigeria. If you see me for the first time, welcome. Thank you for clicking on my video. I make videos on productivity, lifestyle, and vlogs. If you're a returning subscriber, of course, of course, I cannot continue my video without saying thank you. Thank you for always encouraging me and always coming back to watch me. So today I'm really really excited. Today is Monday and you all know how Monday or uh, Mondays can be. Mondays can be so crazy but I am feeling very productive this evening because everything I set out to do today, in fact almost everything, not everything sharp, but like almost everything I set out to do today I was able to achieve that and you know how satisfying that feeling can be. I had a lot of things I planned out to do today and it was crazy. At the end of the day, I was able to achieve almost everything and I am super, super grateful for that. Today, I'm going to be talking to the business owners. If you own a small business, a medium-sized business, a big business, whatever kind of business that you own, if you are just about to start a business, this video is for you. So I'm going to be talking about why you need to have a business bank account. If you want to know more on that, please stay tuned. All right, so um, this video is inspired by one of my friends. She asked me a question about owning a business account for her business, how to go about it and all that. Um, and I felt like I should come here and also share to every other person who may be interested in that. So coming from my experience, I work in a financial institution and I have also worked in several um, commercial banks in the past and I've seen people make some mistakes as regards their business. Some people run their businesses with their personal their personal accounts. Some people, you know, have the same account. Some people have the same account for their business and for their personal needs and all that. And many at times it is really not advised, like I said, it's advised that you have your personal account separate and then your business account on the side as well. And there are very good advantages to that. I'm going to go right into those advantages. So if you have a business, no matter how big your business is, no matter how much you're making from your business, or no matter how little you're making from your business, everybody should own a business account. It is advisable that you own a business account. Of course, you know, it's not something you should rush into as well. It's something that you would know that, okay, I'm ready for it, for this and then I'll go for it. But generally, it is advisable that you own a business account. And there are several reasons why, why I would advise everybody to own a business account. The very first reason why you need to have a business bank account is that you do not want to mingle all your funds. You want to separate your business funds from your personal funds. I think I mentioned that in one of my old videos, you know, where I was talking about you know people having a separate account for their business it is very very vital honestly like if you want to have a successful business it is very vital that you separate your personal funds from your business funds because that way you know when you're making your profit and you also know when you're making your loss so that is the first reason why you want to have your business account the second reason why you need a business account is that at a glance, you are already seeing what your business looks like. It makes you more accountable. It makes your business look more organized. So a typical bank account statement, you'll be seeing the credit side, the debit side, and in some, depending on the bank statement and all that, you'll also be seeing um, your total debit turnover and your total credit turnover. So at a glance, you are already looking at your account. You're already seeing, oh, this is the total amount of money that came into my account, and this is, the amount of money that left my account. So at a glance, you're really seeing, oh, am I am I having much outflow than I'm having inflow? Am I, you know, spending more than I should? You know, at a glance, even you're going to be seeing whether you should cut down on your expenditure, whether you should increase this on this expenditure and all that. So basically, having a corporate account gives you that um, platform for you to see whatever that is going on in your account. The third reason why you need to have a business account, which I feel this, this reason is so, so important. That reason is that a corporate account or a business account qualifies you for a bank credit. So by bank credit, I mean loans, okay? So if you're in business, like every business person would want to 
expand at some point and sometimes at that point when you need to expand you may need to have more inflow you may need to have more cash pushed into your business and by that you may need to seek for a credit from the bank and the average bank would most likely lend to those who are running business accounts with them they also lend to those who run personal accounts, but most likely you are going to be giving um, a lot more credit than you, than you are, than a personal than somebody who is running a personal account to be giving. You are also going to be giving credit faster than somebody who is running your personal account. So it is very very vital that you at least have a, an account that is in your business name, right? Um, so most times, those who are running a business account stand a higher chance to qualify for a business credit. And maybe if you're watching this and you're like, mm, after all, my business is still small, I will never ever need a loan. Never say never because you might get to a point. Nobody, everybody who wants to start, a, who is starting a business, is starting it with the aim that your business is going to grow. So you never know there will be a point where you would actually need a bank credit. So when that time comes. It is easier if you have been running your business account with that bank. All right. So the final reason why you should have a, a business account, it may not really be so serious, but it's, it's something that some people look out for, is that your prospective clients most times take you more seriously when you provide them with a business account. So let's say, for example, I meet an online vendor. I go to Instagram. Let me just use Instagram because that is where most people go to, or even Facebook. And I meet an online vendor. And maybe your business account name on Instagram is XYZ. And I'm asking you, oh, I need, I like this product. I want to buy this product. Um, where can I pay? And you give me an account number with an account name bearing XYZ. Most people are going to take you seriously that way. Um, when you present them with such accounts. I'm not saying that if you don't have, if you have not registered your business or if you don't have a corporate name at this moment that you should be under pressure, but I'm saying that most times, most people will take you seriously when you're running a corporate account. I'm going to have a part two of this video later on this week where I'll be sharing tips for opening um, a business bank account. Um, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about today. If you found this video helpful or if you like this video please give this video a big thumbs up um, if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so I really appreciate that and I also give out interesting tips on this channel um, yeah so as you can see I am just looking like I don't know what I'm looking like actually like I'm just seeing myself in my viewfinder and I'm just looking like a goose I just rushed back from work and I just jumped right into this video because I really needed to make this video today. Um, so yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. Like I said, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, um, like and share my videos. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please, can you just click on that big red button? <laughs> just subscribe. It's very, very free. Like, it doesn't take anything from anybody. Please subscribe to my channel, okay? All right, so thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see people later on this week. Until then, take care. Bye.